How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to set up this HB printer on a wireless network. In this day and age, you're gonna have to hook your printer up to a wireless network if you're gonna wanna print it on your mobile device or on your iPad. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you two ways how to do it. Even though we're working on the HP LaserJet Pro 200 series color M251NW laser printer, this process will work with multiple models, especially if it's an HP printer with a touch screen. If your printer does not have a touch screen, I do have a video for you. I will put a link to that in the description as well as the corner of the video because the process there is a little bit different than what we're gonna be doing here on the screen. Once you successfully hook your printer up to your wireless network, then you're gonna to wanna to learn how to print from Android or iOS, and I have a link to those videos in the description as well. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the screen. So this is the first method we're going to be using to set up this printer on our wireless network using what's called WPS, which is Wireless Protected Setup. It's the easiest method and I recommend that you try this first. As you can see right here, our wireless LED indicator is blinking, meaning that we're not connected to any Wi-Fi network. We gotta get this guy solid, meaning that we have connection. We're gonna tap on this little wireless icon on our menu. It's gonna show the previous Wi-Fi network that it's connected to, or it's gonna show something like this. I'm just going to hit wireless menu, and then I'm going to go here to Wi-Fi protected setup. But then we're gonna to go to push button, and it says press WPS on your wireless router, press okay to continue. So now we're gonna go over to the wireless router. So here is my wireless router. On the side here, I have a button that says WPS. I'm going to hold this button down, for this specific Asus router, it makes my power button start blinking. Your button may be on the front, may be on the side. You might want to consult your router's manual or Google if you don't know where your WPS button is. And if you have a mesh router like an Orbi, there may be a sync button on the back and you're gonna press and hold that sync button until you get some pulsating lights meaning that you've opened the WPS connection. Then you're gonna go back to your printer and hit okay. Now your printer and your Wi-Fi are trying to connect via WP. It's like a temporary handshake between the two devices where you don't have to type in passwords or anything. And there you go, connection is established. It gives you the SSID, gives me the channel number. I'm just gonna hit okay. And then as you can see the blinking light in the top left, is now a solid blue LED. If you go to the Wi-Fi icon, it'll tell you that you are connected. You can hit okay. Now that we're connected to our network, you should be able to install the printer on multiple devices. I've already taken the necessary steps to get it working on my phone. The link to that video is in the description, specifically for Android or iPhone. And just for example, I'm going to send a document from my phone to the printer to show that everything is working perfectly fine. And there we are. From phone to printer through Wi-Fi, it was pretty easy. If for some reason your router doesn't have a WPS button, you're gonna watch this next method and hopefully this will get it up on your network. Now we're gonna go over the second method and that is by picking your SSID and we're gonna manually type in the password on this screen right here. So as you can see up here in the top left, we have an LED Wi-Fi indicator, meaning that we are not connected to a wireless network. It's just pulsating, but after we connect, it should make a solid blue light. You're gonna wanna tap on the little Wi-Fi icon on the menu, and then you're going to go here to wireless menu. Then we're gonna go to wireless setup wizard. And now it was looking for SSIDs that are in range. Ours is eight foot ceilings. However, if yours doesn't come up, you can scroll up and down, look for your network, and it should pop up. It's only picking up 2.4 gigahertz bands on this model. So if your Wi-Fi signal does not put out a 2.4 gigahertz band, you might want to look at getting a new Wi-Fi router. Ours is eight foot ceilings. We're gonna tap on that, and then you're gonna have to manually enter your passphrase. Ours is Year of the Ox, so bear with me while I type that in. And then you're going to hit okay. 
Now it's sending a signal to your Wi-Fi router. Wow, that was really fast. It sent a signal to my Wi-Fi router saying, hey, this is the password, let me in. It let me in. It gives you some information right there. We're just gonna hit okay. Now we have a solid blue light indicator up here and we are connected to our network. And just as a demonstration that it is up and running, I'm gonna print on this iPad. And if you need direct step-by-step -step instructions how to print from your iPad, I do have a link to that video in the description as well. I'm not going to show that in this video. I'm just, we were just setting it up to the network. Now you can print from all your devices once you install them. And there we go. We have a nice dog pattern to make a dog shirt or something. That is the two ways how to set up your HP printer on your Wi-Fi network. If you wanna say thanks or you need more assistance, throw it in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.